you got a fella that you want Say yeah Need some more school love Say yeah Put your hands up in the air Let him know that you care yeah. Hey guys, it's Nyla. I decided to do something different today and do my Q&A life update like this. I could have put on a full face of makeup, did my hair and all that, but I decided just to put some pajamas on. These are from Kohl's by the way. They come with shorts. This is like a super different setup. Not really. I used to film in front of my curtains all the time. I've never done a video like this. I'm in the comfort of my own bed. And I'm just going to be answering y'all's questions. I got my little drink right here. And we're just going to answer some questions. This is probably going to be one of my longer videos. Like, it's going to be on the longer side. So, I'll go ahead and grab a snack. So, these are all the question responses that I got. If I keep playing with my hair, it's because I didn't curl it. And it's kind of like a weird wave. If y'all want to be included in videos like this, make sure you guys follow me on my socials. They'll be on the screen. We're just going to clear the air about some things, give y'all some updates. Y'all just been really wanting to talk about like quarantine, how quarantine has been affecting me mentally, physically, all that good stuff. All that. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. This is like a little girl talk. Um. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. So this is kind of like a Q&A for y'all, but my old subscribers already know some of these things, but... I think it's a good thing to, you know, do a Q&A here and there because you are going to obviously gain more subscribers. They don't know things about you, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, the first question is how old am I? I'm 16 right now. My birthday is in November. It's November 30th, so I'll be 17 in a couple months. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I'm not going to say it yet because I don't know. With all this stuff going on, nothing's really promised right now. So, just fingers crossed that I get to do what I want to do. Any new makeup products or updated techniques? Definitely. So, I'm coming to y'all barefaced like I used to. Um, I've been getting so many comments of like, Oh, Nala, you never used to wear makeup. Oh, Nala, I like you better without makeup. Blah, 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 this and that. But, like, at the end of the day, it's what I want to do. This is my channel. And, of course, I'm going to definitely, like, provide content that y'all like. But at the same time, I'm going to post what I want to post as well. So, yeah, I really like makeup. I'm super into it now. I've been into makeup, but then I, like, fell out of it. And then, like, I'm now jumping back in. So, to answer your question, though, yeah, I have been using, like, new products. In, like, the beginning of quarantine, I think I did, like, an everyday makeup routine. And the products have definitely changed since then, so... Yeah, I started using Shape Tape instead of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I have two different shades of that, and I'm using the Lancome foundation right now instead of the Too Faced one. It's just, it's like a better application. It looks more skin-like, and I really like it. I've been using actual lash glue. Yes, you heard it from me, actual lash glue instead of hair glue. Because, I don't know, I just like it better. It just personally works for me better. So I've been using, like, the brush on lash glue. And as for techniques... Um, I've been trying new things. They haven't really been working out for me, but I'm always open to try something new. Relationship status. I'm single. That's literally like the main question in here. Yes, I'm single. I'm no longer in a relationship. I'm not going to speak on it because, I don't know, just me personally, I'm not the type of person who's going to go into detail. The details in between is just not important. I feel like a lot of people be entitled and they feel like I have to tell them or like, oh, we should never brought it up, so you can't really just say that. You know how people be. Y'all know how people be. Like, they just be dragging it out. At the end of the day, baby, it's not your business. So, yeah, um, no, it wasn't, like, any bad breakup. I also see some questions in here. Am I sad about it? Do I look sad to y'all? Because, baby, I'm not sad at all. I'm starting my business. I've done another client for makeup. So many new opportunities, so many blessings, and I just couldn't be more grateful. I just hit 160K. Like, it's just a lot that's so great and that's the last thing that i'm worried about how have you been mentally and emotionally so um right now i'm really good i do like go back and forth a lot and i feel like it has a lot to do with like quarantine just sitting in the house but like me personally i'm the type of person like if i'm not doing anything i feel really bad like i feel like i need to get up and do something which isn't a bad trait but at the same time i definitely do put a lot of pressure on myself i'm always constantly like what can i do to make this better what can i do to make that better or like what am i doing wrong as far as that goes it hasn't really been the best. I've been down a couple times. Y'all know I'm always going to keep it real with y'all. I'm always going to be honest. I'm definitely a very positive person. Everybody has those days, you know? So, I don't know. I just really feel like it's just quarantine. 
sick of doing the same thing i'm not on the schedule i love schedules because i love to do things like in order i like to get things done i make to-do lists all of that kind of stuff i'm just like a super organized person when it comes to quarantine it's like you have to make your own schedule and like everything is like dependent on you i'm definitely a very self-driven person but like at the same time it's like it's really hard to push yourself more when you're in the house and you know that you're going to be in the house for a while because nobody really knows when this is all going to be over or whatever or like when it's going to be safe again so like it's really all up to you when i'm at school i have a schedule like i go to this class this class when i get home i do my homework i try to do as much youtube stuff i can do and i go to sleep and do it again you're trying to push out videos you're trying to do this you're trying to do that um i'm starting a business it's just like a lot and i definitely get overwhelmed a lot so that's been taking a toll on me but right now i'm doing really well i dropped my youtube schedule because that was stressing me out i was just trying to get videos out at a certain time on every thursday and saturday the schedule wasn't really working out but i mean like nobody really cares it's quarantine so I upload when you want so i dropped that i've been loving it i've been super stressed out about like collaboration um deadlines because if you're an influencer sometimes you have promos to do for other companies and you have a deadline i press pause i'm i already have a list but i kind of like narrowed my list down because they were just too overwhelming I talked to my mom about it, and yeah, I'm doing much better now. I'm happy right now, so that's all that matters, and we're just going to try to keep that up, so. What are your favorite TV shows and movies at the moment? This is crazy, but I edit so much to the point that I really don't watch anything anymore. I don't really watch anything. I watched The Kissing Booth 2. What else did I watch? I didn't even finish 13 Reasons. I am on the last episode still. I have like a whole hour left. So yeah, I'm like terrible when it comes to watching stuff. I started Grey's Anatomy like freshman year. I still haven't finished it. I think I'm on season like four. It's just horrible. Like I'm the worst at like trying to finish something. Are you excited about launching your last night? I'm so ecstatic. Like y'all don't even know. I've been planning this for a long time, super long time. And I haven't said anything about it because like I said, I like to keep things under wraps until like, I know like it's a go like there's no maybes there's no if ands buts nothing like that I like it to be in order all that good stuff I don't like the build up and I know some people like that some people are like oh we want to be a part of the journey we want to know when you order your lashes when you order your business cards when you do this when you do that but I just like to have it all at once and then let people know so I'm super excited for my launch if y'all saw my last video y'all know that I'm launching the 31st so I'm really excited really nervous at the same time but I think it's gonna be great I know we're gonna do we're gonna sell out period and I've just been you know like coming up with new ideas other things that I want to put on my website all that good stuff so that's really all I'm gonna say about it I want to say that I really appreciate all the support you guys have um gave me and I haven't even launched yet like my business Instagram already has like 3,000 followers and y'all were just going crazy when I posted the picture so I really really appreciate it and I love y'all so much so thank you to y'all and I know y'all been wanting me to launch like some kind of business for a while so it was kind of hard for me like to not be like I am launching a business like every time I would do a talk to me on Instagram or something like I would see that and I'm just like <sighs> I can't say anything yet but y'all know now Cat tap the bag. Updated skincare routine if you're not too busy. I will have a um, skincare kind of regimen thing super soon. It's not going to be a skincare routine video, but yeah, I'm not going to really tell y'all like what it's going to be, but that's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. How do I say this without sounding like rude? I don't know, but like, I don't like to share everything because I feel like if you share something, somebody can just like grab it and make it their own, and I really don't like that. Like, I love being an inspiration to people, but when somebody takes your whole idea of something, it really sucks because it's like, I came up with that and now you're using it you didn't give me credit for it and it's just like it sucks but I mean it is what it is it's social media everybody gets inspired from others and I understand that because I definitely do if I see something trending I want to do it too but I'm not the type of person who would just take somebody's idea and just run with it you know like I would definitely give them credit like I didn't do this first they did it first kind of thing but it is what it is so yeah I do um Definitely plan to do like something skincare related very soon. I've been using Curology. I freaking love it. That's all I'm gonna say. Do you still work out? I've been slacking so bad. Like last week I worked out once. I haven't really been prioritizing working out and I definitely love to work out. It makes me just feel like really productive and you just feel good after you work out. I definitely wanna get back and I, I keep saying that but 
I don't know. When are more hauls coming? I love doing hauls too, and I love that y'all love my hauls because they're so fun. Hauls are like my most popular video on my channel. I don't know. I really feel like hauls are just my strong point. Do I have a haul coming? I do have a haul coming soon. It's not a Shein haul. I definitely will give y'all an update um, whenever another Shein haul is coming. I know I'm going to do another one. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, I'll definitely give y'all an update. But I do have a like Instagram baddie kind of haul that I'm going to be dropping soon. So stay tuned for that. What are your plans after high school? I want to be an anesthesiologist. An anesthesiologist is the doctor who gives you anesthesia before surgery. After I graduate high school, I'm going to go to college. I'm really looking at ECU and UNCC right now. Those are the two schools I'm looking for. I definitely want to branch out and look at more schools. And then I want to do medical school. ECU has a really good medical program, and then I have to do residency. The medical field has always appealed to me. It's just always something that I, I just want to do. Giving people like a pep talk before the surgery because I've had surgery before and I know like how nervous you can be or how paranoid you can be. I have some other goals, which I know how I am. How do you stay motivated? It's really hard, like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. It's really hard to be motivated during quarantine because everything's up to you. I, it's really just that I don't like the feeling of not doing anything. Like it just really, it really bothers me to say the least. It's okay to have like a bright day or to relax or this and that, but... I can't just like go the whole day and just sit in my bed or be on my phone all day like I just can't so I don't know I think it's just I'm a just self-driven person so yeah would you ever do a collab with another girl youtuber I would love to do a collab with another youtuber but it's just that we all live so far away from each other that it's hard to collab you can collab and just be like oh this video is in collaboration with so-and-so but y'all are more interested in seeing in-person collaborations and that's hard to do especially right now with the coronavirus going around and then not only that but we are also like branched out so but i would definitely be open to do it like that would be so fun it's just always cool to like have somebody that you can relate to like you guys do the same thing you guys go through the same things and it's just really fun so i would love to do a collab you know if you're going back to school we're going back to school august 17. i'm not going to say too much about my back to school series because i kind of have an idea of what i'm going to do already so i am doing that it might be a little bit like lighter than usual just because this is all new to all of us like this has never happened before like the back to school series everything is just messed up like but i'm doing online school we were going to do like one week physical school two weeks online school one week physical and just keep going back and forth but our governor said we're no longer doing that we're only doing online school for the first semester i think and then you can choose whether you want to return back to actual school after that and I feel like my mom is not going to want me to go back. I'm just I'm going to try to make something shape for this back to school series, but I am going to be online. What wig color are you going to do next? I want to do either silver or like a midnight blue or purple. Let me know down below which color I should do, blue, silver, or purple. How does it feel to be 16? I don't know. I just feel like every time it's my birthday, like I feel the same. Is that just me? I don't know. Maybe when I turn 21 or something, it'll feel different, but like every year just feels the same. I definitely mature every single year. Maybe that's a little bit different, but 16 just feels like 16. I don't know. Did you get a new phone? I did get a new phone. And it's the iPhone 11 Pro. I didn't get the Pro Max. This phone and this phone are the same size, roughly. This is a little, a teeny bit bigger, but they're the same size so like if I was used to having my iPhone X this size and I got the Pro and it was like big it would just been really weird so I just got the same size when I had the iPhone 6 I had the 6 plus and that's really big and I just don't like big phones so I like this one better and I really love the camera quality how do you get back to the old Nyla when you don't feel like yourself let me go ahead and scratch this right here I wouldn't say the old Nyla I would just say to get back to like my happy place happy self blah blah blah, blah. Um, like I said, everybody gets down here and there, so what I do is I like give myself a moment, I let it out, talk to my mom about it because I talk to my mom about everything, and I just pick myself up. Like, you can feel sorry for yourself for like a day or two, but after that, let it go, bounce back up, do what you need to do. That's one thing about being sad, and I say that all the time all the time you can be sad it's okay to be sad it's completely normal to be sad but you cannot stay there like that's going to be your downfall right there you have to pick yourself back up but if you bounce back then you're going to be happy again so it's really up to you like if you don't believe that you're going to be happy again nobody will it all starts with you if you're not going to push yourself nobody will it all starts with you what other person do you want i really want the double tragus right here I want the bar and I want my second haul and that's it for my ears. And then I do want a belly piercing kind of. I don't know. I think they're cute, but I just will just have to see. I probably will get it, but I'm not getting it anytime soon. She didn't ask this, but I am planning on getting a tattoo right here. That's just the heart. Whenever I get my tattoo, I'll take it out with me. How's your business going? When's the launch day? It's going really well though. 
I'm um, already like planning a restock because I know it's gonna do well. My mom's friends and like my family has been super super supportive. I'm really excited about it and the launch date is in that video so check it out. How do you stay so positive? Cannot be a negative Nancy. That's something I can't stand like that's one of my pet peeves. A negative person like all they do is think about the negative side of things. Why can't you just see the positive side? Like you'll be so much happier. I just don't like people who can't be happy for somebody who can't be positive this and that. If you're not positive I'm gonna need you to back up for me. You too close to me, baby. I need you to be positive because positive energy over anything, okay? People love positive people. People be loving negativity and drama too, but I'm just like, that's so played out to me. Like, I think it's just like a maturity thing, honestly. Like, eventually that stuff won't appeal to you anymore, but I just don't like that. Like, I just like to be positive. I like to uplift people. I, could, I just can never be worried about negative stuff and what other people got going on. Like, I just couldn't care i like the positivity but don't play with me like if you want to get with the get with we can get with it you get what i'm saying like don't try to be all kiki funny in the comments because um don't think you know a bully and that's period but i'm gonna still stay positive though what made you want to start a youtube channel i just always loved youtube i've been watching youtube for a minute now and i was like oh i want to do that too so i started it like i said fifth grade going into sixth grade and i taught myself how to edit i got a camera i was really serious about it and look where i am so definitely came i came a long way a long long way like i should definitely do like a reaction to my old videos because girl no it took a long time for my editing to get to how it is now i love editing so much like it takes so long but i really do be enjoying it like unless it's like a really tedious video like like what's a tedious video like girl talks like videos like this are super tedious because it's so much footage and i'm talking so much but videos like a playlist those are super easy or like lookbooks or stuff like i can really get creative with it how's preparing to officially drop your lashes going i love you i love you too and it's really like i said it's nerve-wracking like i'm super nervous i don't know why i'm so nervous but i'm really excited i only have like a few things to do on my to-do list and i'm super excited it's just like really crunching down like it's really getting to that point like we get in there you know we're really getting there i've never done this before but my mom is always going to be on my side to help me so i really appreciate her she's always here behind the scenes i don't see her too too much unless you're on my spam but she really always helps me out so i really appreciate her so yeah i already know she's going to help me out help me ship off these orders and i'm super grateful so half as nervous half as excited i don't know it's not no meet me in the middle it's kind of like a i don't know what that is but it's like i really like your style and personality so much thank you so much y'all y'all be making me like <laughs> stop playing great question this is a great question i think i should do another video just like this different hair different pajamas and talk about my scoliosis experience surgery recovery questions that I get all the time all that stuff it, it could help somebody who's going through what I went through so definitely if y'all want to if y'all want to see that let me know and I'll definitely do it so yeah did you ever wear a back brace for your scoliosis and what's an uncomfortable I did I would get it but it's in my drawer I don't feel like getting up right now but yes I do have a back brace it's kind of like a um I don't know how it's like I'll, I'll try to answer the picture of it I did have a back brace um, it's not uncomfortable it just makes you feel like more supported it depends on your scoliosis like if you have an s curve or you have a c curve so c curve is just one curve those are like more noticeable i had an s curve which means i had two curves in my back like an s like it, it curves at the bottom and at the top so that's what i had and it wasn't really too too noticeable because my curves balanced each other out but once your curve i think it's like a 45 degree curve or something like that that's when your doctor starts talking to you about surgery i'm not going to get too much into it because i can talk about everything for days like I, de I definitely should do a video about this i don't know if i can answer my pictures or not i have to talk to my mom about that but i'll probably do that in the video yeah i'll save all of it for the video i'm just gonna give you like a brief but yeah so depending on the type of curve you have the kind of degree that you have um your doctor will start talking to you about surgery or there's really two ways you can approach it so you can either do physical therapy which really will just help with like discomfort and like pain and then the surgery will obviously straighten your back so yeah y'all can look into it 
um, once I do that video, I'll probably go. I don't really like to talk about numbers too much, but I can get into the numbers probably in the video, but surgery is really, really expensive. My mom, she kept telling me, like, oh, I have a really good feeling about it, and thankfully, like, I was super blessed. My surgery was super smooth sailing. The, the recovery was smooth sailing. Like, I was just, everything, everything was just really, really good, so... Yeah, I really didn't make the decision. My mom really just wanted me to get it because if I didn't get the surgery, obviously my curve was going to continue to get worse. It was going to become more noticeable and then it was going to start to affect other things. It's going to be like more pain, more discomfort, more noticeable. So she was just like, you should get it now while you're still young because if I, if I were to get it like when I was older, I wouldn't recover as fast. So yeah, I really do think it was a good idea to just get it now. I got my surgery freshman year, December 31st, and yeah, so it was right around like Christmas break. I was out of school for a month or two. I don't know. I don't know. I was out of school for a while, and yeah, I came back, and I'm good to go. I do have a scar on my back. I'm not ashamed of my scar at all. So if you have a scar on your back from scoliosis surgery, or if you're thinking about it, don't be ashamed of it at all. Like, this is something that's going to benefit you. Do you plan to move out when you're 18? By the time I turn 18, I'm going to be a senior in high school, and I'm going to be going off to college, so I don't really have a choice. So, yeah. <laughs> At the school series. Like I said, I'm not going to get into it. Yes, I'm doing one for sure. I'm doing a back to school series for sure. Come on, let's be for real. Like, I'm not going to not do a back to school series. So, I've started planning things out. You know, I have to work around the circumstances that we're in right now. But, yeah, so I've been trying to do what I can do, try to work something out. Thank y'all so much for asking these questions. I hope you guys learned something new. I have some more um, Q&A videos so y'all can check those out. I have my whole playlist of them. Listen in the eye. Make sure y'all give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to put this thumb down give it a thumbs up because my nails broke. But anyway, follow me on my social medias and also I do have a Depop so I will be putting some of my old clothes that I don't wear anymore up there if y'all are interested in those. My Depop is at Miss Nyla Nicole so check that out and also if y'all want to be included on like exclusive things, y'all want to see like more of my personality, what I do on a day to day, things like that, y'all can follow me on my spam and subscribe to my vlog channel. So yeah, I have two summer vlogs up there right now. I've been getting questions about summer vlogs but I can't do much with the circumstances that we're in but I do have two of those vlogs up on my channel so check those out if you have it and yeah thank you guys so much for 160k we're so close to 200k and thank you guys for 87k on my instagram we're really close to 100k over there so i really 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 appreciate you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Peace out.